Hello everybody, this is Tay. And it's me, Michelle. And this is another exciting episode of Shooping with Tay. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> so today was an adventure. It was amazing. Dude. It Dude. Was. Bro. <laughs> wow. I'm a bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Tell them, tell them. All right, so today hey. we got up early and we hopped on down to do some prison ministry. We hopped on down to the Donovan yep. State Prison. Yep. And a shout out to Miss Libby Donovan, your dad. It, you know, the prison is named after your daddy-o. Yeah. Awesome judge, R.J. Donovan, right? Yeah. And I had never been to a prison. I'd never been inside the walls of a prison before. Um, I'd never done pr prison ministry, so this was brand new for me. It was an absolutely amazing experience. Like, Wow. Like, I don't even know where to start. Um, one thing that was pretty awesome is I did get to get in front. Uh, I got to speak to the, to the gentleman. She's cutting off my chin. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Here, let me hold it. I'm talking. There's on my chin. Uh-uh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, and so I got to there. We had there was two sessions. We had a morning session, lunch, and then an afternoon session. Mm -hmm. And um, and I got to speak to the to everybody on both sessions. And the first one in the morning um, was like, it was it was really cool. We we talked about um, your heart. It was all about your heart, and like. Like, what is the status of your heart? Are you heart healthy? And this is heart, this is physically, but also spiritually, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Do you have a hardened heart? Right. And that was one of the things, I was kind of tripping out when he was talking about that, because I had said that when I was talking about teaching my students. I mm -hmm. said, you know, I've had to learn how to be firm but fair, mm -hmm. but not have a hard heart. Mm -hmm. And then he talked about that. And mm -hmm. I just was, it was so neat how it all worked together. Mm -hmm. And then I even got to tell everybody um, the origin of the shoop. Which yeah, was pretty cool. that was funny. Michelle jumped in there and um, scared her. She forgot her name. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, we do this thing, shooping with Tay." And I go, "Hi, I'm Michelle." And this is, and she went, and I was all, uh, and I said, "This is Tay." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I'm Tay." That like, was funny, but they loved it. They loved it. That's awesome. So next time they see her, I know they're going to be going shoop. shoop. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is is really, um, it's a group of volunteers. Uh, I go. The group that I'm with is pastors to prisoners. And they go, okay. um, they, they not only go there, but they go to different churches sharing with people um, the joy of just going to prison ministry because the Bible does say to go visit the prison, the homeless, the orphaned, the widowed. Um, and so every week there's a group of volunteers, different ones. Some choose to go once a month, some go every week. It de just depends. It's a lot because it's an all day situation. Um, you go, usually we meet at a Starbucks nearby. And so we go and we all sit there and we meet. Oops, I'm tilting. <laughs> and we all meet. And then after that, we we, uh, we all head over to the prison and we check in. And they have a couple of yards. There's a minimum yard. There's an A, B, C, and D yard. And we're on the maximum security yard. But first we go to yard B, which isn't quite that as heavy mm. situation. Um, I think the yard I'm on is also called Sensitive Needs. And um, it was Taylor's first time, mm -hmm. and I know that I talk a lot about it, and I was really surprised, not too surprised, but a little surprised when she said she wanted to go. And um, she was her. That's what we all love about her, huh? She's just Taylor. She's just Taylor. She, she just went in there, and she... Um, she didn't get to wear her flip flop. You know how she likes her toes <laughs> out. You have to cover <laughs> that is up true. Because those guys like toes. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's I not. Have, it's, I have cute it's, feet. So. It's not their. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> not their problem. It's not their fault. They're men. You know, so we have to respect them and yeah. how we dress when we go in. And uh, so we went to the first yard, and I saw by the time she first got in there, she was like, "Wow," you know. And it's always different than I think everybody perceives. And so everybody shook hands and talked, and they were like, is this the little girl you were talking about? And I'm like, yeah, it's a little one. <laughs> and then uh, we had music, which was off the hook, and they were so praising good. and singing. And uh, and then they have the speaker, and they call, but then they call people up, and she got to go up. And she did. She shared about her kid. She shared about her shooping story mm -hmm. and how she began to say that. And we all liked the shoop. <laughs> and, um, shoop. Uh, the shock of me running up, interrupting her testimony, that really blew her away. <laughs> that was good. And then we all went to lunch, and it was funny because at first she goes, <laughs> "How long's the break?" I mm -hmm. said, "Hour and a half." She was like, "Man, that's, that's a long, a long break." <laughs> but once we got there, she saw what I meant. We all get in there and we fellowship and we talk and we yeah. eat and we eat and we fellowship and talk and eat. <laughs> yeah. And so um, we 
after that, we went to the Sea Yard, which was different because they didn't have musicians like they did over there. So they had to rely just on singing and trying to keep the guys uplifted. And then once it was about the same format, but uh, she got up again this time. But this time mm, it was different. It was a little different because I sang a, one of her songs she likes called um, "I Will Trust in You" by yeah, Lauren, Daigle, Lauren Daigle, and it kind of touched a heart. Mm -hmm. But what I like about moments like that is. We never know what God's going to pull out of us through what someone says, through what someone does. Yeah. And um, she was moved. I was moved. Pastor, everybody, we were all moved. I moved when I sing songs because they're not my songs. It's like God just gets me up there and I do whatever he tells me yeah. to do. And it was just fun. And the people are, are, were very warm and generous with her. And she got to sit and talk with the chaplain who I love. He's like a grandfather. He's awesome. He was so... Oh, he was amazing. Yes, he was awesome to talk to. And... Um... I guess he's had kind of a, a couple rough weeks, so physically. And he said he, he was near death. Yeah, so it's a it's a miracle that he's there. And mm -hmm. you guys, he had on the like greatest raspberry colored shirt. Oh my gosh, it was it was awesome. Like I was like, wow, I love your shirt. And he's like, well, it's not pink. If you ask my wife, it's a raspberry. And I was like, <laughs> right on. But yeah, that was awesome. And yeah, like Lauren Daigle, we listened. You know, Michelle sang Lauren Daigle, and uh, di she didn't sing Lauren Daigle in the in the morning time, and. And I just, for some reason, I just thought about, you know, Louisiana, because she's from Lafayette, Louisiana, and then I started thinking about all my friends out there, started thinking about my friend Travis and his story and his life and, um, you know, just how much I miss him. And, and uh, these guys, you know, they're, they were in prison, right? And I mean, uh, it's just, it, we're all people and we all have a story and we're all doing our best. And um, I was just telling them that this year has not gone the way that I envisioned it. But that I still, you know, losing Travis in January was really hard and changed everything. I moved to Texas and um, he wasn't in Louisiana and I was in Texas and it was just tough. Uh, but I, um, I, I told them that I still have that expectation every day, you know, that God mm -hmm. is going to mm -hmm. continue to guide me on this path. And that mm -hmm. I have that expectation that I'm going to be brought into people's paths and people are going to be brought into my path. Mm -hmm. And that the experiences and the situations that God wants me to be in are going to be there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be able to help people still. And, and mm -hmm. I said... That expectation is what led me to meeting Michelle in the first place because I was working somewhere. I taught her granddaughter. Boom, we met. And then <laughs> and then everything we're doing with Zija and then everything now with this prison ministry. It's just like I just wake up with an open mind, tr mm -hmm. trusting in the mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, That's have, what we talked about yeah, a lot today. That expectation. We did, yeah. It mm -hmm. was It, it was, was awesome. a good day. We talked about the heart and trusting and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff because we do. We put our trust in other people and you can't because we're all fallible. Mm -hmm. We're going to hurt each other and not even trying. Yeah. You just have to trust God. And um, like she said, um, you know, I had never heard all of her testimony, but for her to break down like she did, let me know that I'm doing what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I don't ever want to get up and sing just to be singing. Right. I know I could sing and I know it's good, but I need the hearts to be touched. And then when their hearts are touched, I know that God is also blessing me. And it's, she gets the best part because she gets to hear me sing at home and practice. She gets to hear new songs before they come out. So, But it was a wonderful totally. day. And then afterwards, she treated me to some Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready to take off. And so those of you that pray, uh, pray for her safety while she's here, taking care of holding the house down. Yes. And she gets to sleep in the big giant bed. Sheep. And she's tiny, so you don't really know where she's laying at. <laughs> and I'll be up in Sacramento with uh, Wisdom Phoenix, who's uh, preparing for her uh, single to come out, the internet, it's gonna and be awesome. she's going to be performing at um, Stratus Stratosphere yep. on the 31st, her masquerade party, and um, I'm going to be singing there. I don't know how I'm going to be doing, because I'm used to gospel, but I chose a song that's pretty cool by mm -hmm. Michael Bublé. OMG! Oh, I'm feeling good. Birds flying high. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So, but I can't know, wait for that. It's gonna it be was, awesome. It was a full day. She stopped at Jessica's house, and mm -hmm. yep. Then we got to watch a video of Jessica cooking with mini oils. Yep, the Ameo essential oils. And she's it's talking amazing. about pork, but I never had that. Sounds Ooh, gross. <laughs> uh, we had it last week, and it was the bomb diggity. Ooh. It was so good. Thank you, Jill and Larry, for bringing it over. It was awesome. So that was our day, and I am pooped. And you know what? Little Missy here is still going. Yeah. She about to go see her cousin. Cousin Amber. Amber Lamps. And they're going to hang for you. out and she's gonna throw, they're going to throw watermelons. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely. There's been a watermelon at the house for about a month. Pretty standard. We Brandy. don't know what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, we love you guys. Um, thank you for checking out this episode of Shooping with Tay, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this awesome day, seriously. Prison ministry, it's something that I, I'm definitely going to make it a regular thing. I'm going to go, I'll go while Michelle's gone. I'll be a big girl, put on my big girl panties and, and, and check it out. Hopefully I'll get my mom to come with me and Aunt Dana yeah, at some point. Awesome. Anybody who's over 18 who wants to come and share their story and, and minister, you mm -hmm. know, um, to the, to the gentleman, like it's, a, it, I can't even tell y'all how fulfilling it is. And you, I feel like I learned more from it, from, I learned so much mm -hmm. today, you guys, from everybody, like. Just people. People are people. We're mm -hmm. all human beings, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody has something to learn and something to teach. So, and so God, God's working through all of us. So it's Shout out awesome. to uh, pastors to prisoners, Pastor Roger Ziegler and his yes. lovely Thank wife. Thank you, Pastor. Becky, Thanks, y'all. For having us and all you beautiful people. So I'm going to let her go have fun. And guess what? This old lady. You want um, to bed? <laughs> Shoo! Let me tell you something. <laughs>